What is going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video and guys what we're going to be doing today is pulling packs from my favorite player of all time, Emmett Smith. Yes ladies and gentlemen, Emmett Smith now impacts Elite Emmett Smith 98 effing overall dudes. Just my favorite player of all time, like I said, guys, uh, Evan Smith, the reason that I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan, to be completely honest with you. So uh, very, very excited. Hopefully we can get this Evan Smith at some point here. I'm going to try and pull some packs and get him today, but, uh, you know, it's it's unlikely, to be completely honest with you, that we're going to pull a legend. I have not pulled a legend either in Madden uh, 15 or Madden 16. Other than when you were guaranteed the legend in the cornucopia pack. That's like the only one that I've pulled. So hopefully we can get one happening here, guys. That would be amazing if we could pull Emmett Smith. Um, you know, obviously I'm, I'm a huge fan, so that would be my, one of my favorite players to pull potentially in this game. Uh, he does have really, really good attributes as well. If you guys don't know, there is also a Deacon Jones that you can do a set for right now. Uh, so his stuff is in the game to potentially pull. But what we're going to do, guys, uh, I know that there's the New Year's packs right now, and those give you some frozen items and gold or better players and crap like that. We're not going to do that, okay? What we're actually going to do here today, guys, is we're going to open up from the uh, from the actual gifts that we had. So I've got some unopened packs here. We're going to do two All-Pro packs, an All-Madden pack, a Game Changer pack. I'm going to save the X-Factor pack, uh, and then we're going to do a 7-Pro pack bundle as well. So hopefully we can pull something good. That would be just amazing. I know there's other really good stuff that we can potentially pull right now as well. Um... I believe that it's still, yeah, this Team of the Week stuff is, I believe, still in the game. Uh, so hopefully we can pull something like that. That would be great, too. But uh, really, obviously, what we're looking for is Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith is the man. This is a 98 overall running back. I believe he's the best running back in the game right now. Maybe other than Dre Archer. But uh, no, I'm, I'm just joking, guys. But uh, attributes-wise, I believe he's the best uh, in the game right now. So why don't we get right into it, guys? We'll go with, uh, we'll start off here with the 7-pack bundle. As you guys know, that was one of the gifts that I invested in. I, I really told people to invest in it i still have a bunch of these all pro packs and all madden packs as well waiting for these to go up a little bit in price i promise you guys they're going to go up a little bit at least um so you know don't sell on them now if you don't have to if you want to sell on them go ahead i guess but um you know my opinion is that just like the legend packs they're going to go up a little bit so um, i'm fully expecting them to but let's start off here with the pro pack bundle and we'll see what we can pull here i'm, I'm really just hoping for this emmett smith man it would be so amazing if we could get the emmett and uh, 250 quick sell, oh boy! Again, I don't know why the hell they include those as something that you can even pull as we get a Greg Jennings there for our gold. I don't know what the hell they're doing with that. Like, why even have that in the game? It's so annoying. It just it just takes up a spot in your pack. Like, I would I would legit rather have like a uh, a Bears defense like this. I would rather have another one of these type of things than a stupid 250 quick sell. So annoying. And most of them are 100 quick sells too. It's not even 250. But let's continue on here, guys, and we get first card is Latavius Murray, so that's probably going to be our only goal. No, we do get a Max Williams, too, as well. Kind of random. Um, but, all right, so we got two golds in this pack. Uh, Max Williams actually was supposed to be kind of a breakout player. Didn't really happen for fantasy this year, but um, he had a couple of good games in there. Continuing on, Captain Munnerlin, not much in this pack. We're just going to rip through these pro packs pretty much, guys. We, we're trying to get this Emmett, and that's pretty much the only thing that we care about. Nothing at all out of any of these. Eric Fisher, big old bust there for the Chiefs. At least he has been so far. I shouldn't say that he's going to be forever, but uh, he has not been good so far for the Chiefs. Uh, not a good pack here either. God, man, we're just getting shit on right now. Let's go. Come on. Give me something. Riley Cooper, ugly. Look at this. This guy looks like Odell Beckham Jr. with that hair. I don't know, but it's not an Odell Beckham Jr., damn it. Come on, baby. I think this might be the last pro pack. Yeah, this is the last pro pack that we have. Is we get a, oh, we get an out of position Marshawn Lynch at least. I mean, I know that doesn't go for a whole lot, but at least it's something cool. I like I like that card actually a lot. I, I got it in the draft champions. I used it a little bit. It was kind of fun to use. He's not the best or anything like that because he's a little short, but, um, you know, decent attributes anyway. So Marshawn Lynch out of position is our best pull out of the pro packs, unfortunately. Really nothing good there. Um, let's go back here though. We do still have the all Madden packs, the all, or the all pro packs, all Madden packs, and, a, and, a, and as well a game changer pack. Uh, really, the game changer pack is the one that I'm banking on getting us something decent. The all pro packs are kind of crap, to be completely honest with you, and, and all Madden packs aren't that great either. Hopefully, we get something though. Danny Amendola there, silver badge. 
Anthony Barr. Anthony Barr is a freaking beast, by the way. If you guys don't know, uh, this card is one of the best cards to user control. It's just one of the best linebackers in the game. Even the gold versions are really, really good. Uh, Brandon Boykin. So we get... I guess it guarantees you three gold players. Is that basically what the deal is with the all pro packs? And then like a, a silver or better badge maybe, or just a badge in general. I don't know, but um, all right, we'll open up the next all pro pack and we get Derek Carrier. Okay, come on, Fred Davis, crap. Jordan Matthews, crap. Just garbage packs to be completely honest. Another silver badge there. Um, but yeah, nothing really great out of these. So now we're moving on to the all Madden packs, guys. We do still have one of these and a game changer pack. It's all coming down to these. So far, we have not pulled a damn thing yet. Uh, we might end up doing another pack opening for Emmett. We'll see. But uh, I don't know. This one's not really going too well for me right now. So we'll see. Hopefully, we can get something good here as we get an Evan Royster, Todd Gurley. Uh, come on. Let's go. All right. Lamarcus Joyner gives us a football outsiders at least. That's not really anything spectacular, but... Uh, something decent at least and then we get a mark Ingram so getting a few golds out of here But really nothing great at all to be completely honest with you. All right Last one guys game changer pack it all comes down to this wish me some luck guys Hopefully we can pull something decent here. Come on Emmett Smith. Let's go, baby. Give me something. Let's go. Come on Emmett. Oh, we get a frozen gift right off the bat dude. I almost peed my pants when that came up. Oh my gosh Gabe Jackson, Big Beasley, okay, so we get at least a Schefter star, that card's actually pretty decent, he's all speed, Mercedes Lewis, Darnell Dockett, Top Balls, Jordan Hill, Dougie Martin, Craig Robertson, a gold badge, okay, Brandon Spikes, I think you get a gold badge automatically out of these packs, uh, okay, and then our last card, guys, it doesn't look like we're gonna get anything decent out of here, we did get a Frozen Gift, this one, I'm thinking, guys, is probably going to be a quick sell of some sort. I, I talked about this in a previous video. I don't think it's going to be worth a whole lot. Um, but if any of you guys are interested in it, leave your PSN in the comment section below. I'll pick one of you guys and send it over to you if you if you want this gift. Um, I don't think it could be a large quick sell. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a small quick sell, but I don't know for certain. Last card of the pack. Jack Del Rio Raiders offense. Crap. So we get just nothing of value out of here, guys. Unfortunately. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video though. I mean if you did guys I, I really uh, I would encourage you to hit that like button Press the subscribe button if you're new. We do a lot of pack openings on this channel We're definitely gonna try and pull this Emma Smith somehow. I don't know like Should I do a New Year's bundle like these? I don't know man like I looked at the how these cards are or how these packs are set up, right? I just don't really think there's anything that would give me extra odds to pull the Emmett Smith because like you get three golds or better players like, I might as well just open up more all Madden packs because I have a ton of those or all pro packs because that's basically what it is. Other than that, you basically get one frozen item. So you get a, either a gift, a player, or a collectible. Most of the time, it's one of those gold collectibles. So they're not really worth a whole lot. So it's like, yeah, you get, what, a, a 12 pack or a 12 card pack. So that's like gives you a couple extra things. But like the, the majority of them are going to be crap. Like, that's just the way that it is. Yes. We could do the 20 New Year's Pack bundle for $80 but uh, and get ourselves a Ghost of Madden player, but like I just I don't think that's worth it, man. I, I really don't think it's worth it. So uh, I don't think I'm going to do the New Year's Packs. I kind of think they're a ripoff unless you're just begging for gifts. But uh, I'm sitting here, obviously, guys, with 5.1 million right now. So I'm, I'm definitely not trying to just beg for gifts. I, I really just want to um, open up Pro Packs and potentially pull the Emmett Smith. That's the thing that I have uh, have done in the past to pull great cards is, is just pull Pro Packs. Like you guys saw a couple of weeks ago, I pulled the uh, Luke Keekley. The, uh, the limited edition one, the 24-hour one, and that was just in a, a standard pro pack. I pulled, uh, in Madden 25, I pulled the Ultimate Legend Barry Sanders just out of a pro pack. Like, all of my best pulls have always come out of just a standard pro pack, unless it's, like, a specialty pack like the Cornucopia or something like that. But, like, um, none of them have ever come out of, like, all pro packs, all Madden packs, anything like that, I swear. Like, it's crazy. I, I can't imagine a, a worse thing. Like, the odds just are never really good on those. So... I don't think we're going to do the New Year's pack, but I want to hear from you guys. Should I do the New Year's pack or what? I, I have no idea. Let me know in the comment section below. Also, guys, like I said, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And uh, let me know what you guys want to see in the future here on this channel. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, if you're enjoying my videos, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on the right side of your screen right now. Otherwise, you can always check out my previous video by clicking on the left side of the screen. Thank you guys again.